and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new. For today's video, I decided to go through my makeup kit and kind of just show you guys what products I have that I got from Amazon that are my absolute favorite go-to products. Some of these things are very, very essential to have as a makeup artist, which I will definitely point out for you guys. But other ones are just kind of little nifty things that I found on Amazon that have kind of helped me in my makeup artist career. They've made me work a lot quicker, a lot more sanitary, etc. And all the products I will be mentioning today will be linked down in the description bar down below. So let's go ahead and get started. The most essential item you're going to have as a makeup artist is your stainless steel palette and also a stainless steel spatula. Your stainless steel spatula is going to be for depotting or decanting any products and then you can put it on your stainless steel palette and then you work off of this to be completely completely sanitary and not, you know, mix any products or contaminate anything for your next client. Make sure that you sanitize this guy in between each client and just make sure everything is thoroughly disinfected. And this one just has like a little hole to hold your finger if you want to. Like sometimes I hold it like this. And then this stainless steel spatula is double-ended. So it has a pointed tip right here and then it also has a squared off tip here. I mostly use the squared off tip here. I only use this whenever I need to get things in like hard to reach areas. These are very, very essential to have as a makeup artist. So if you don't have a stainless steel palette and a spatula, then you definitely need to obtain one. These two did come together on Amazon. So I will be linking those down below. They were very inexpensive. I think they were maybe like 10 to $12 or something around in that range. But yeah, again, I will be linking that down below. So go check that out. The next thing that I found really useful from Amazon is my brush belt. Some makeup artists don't use a brush belt. Some of them um, just, you know, use like a brush folio or some sort of, you know, brush holder and then kind of work out of that. But to me, I usually don't have a lot of workspace whenever I go to jobs. So it's really handy to have a physical brush belt attached to me. This one you can extend so it either goes across your body, but I usually clip mine to my waist. That's usually how I use it. So this one does have a clip here. This one extends a little bit. They have adjusters on it. The one thing I really, really like about this one though is it literally zips all the way around. <laughs> and then you have all of your brushes that are sitting inside of there. I really like the fact that this one zips and this is definitely what I wanted to have in a brush belt. I used to work for Mac as some of you may know. And the MAC brush belts are completely open all over the place. So whenever you had to like take it off and put your brush belt somewhere, all your brushes would just like fall out all over the place. So I thought it was really, really handy to have a brush belt that had some sort of zipper. So at least I could, you know, throw my brushes all around. Or if I was just trying to get out in a hurry or something from a job, then I could just zip up this really quick, throw it in my kit and then just be done with it, you know? So that's really handy to have. And then inside here, of course I have all my brushes. But then there's also two pockets right here so you can hold stuff. There's a slot for business cards, which is really handy. And then I just have like um, lash glue, my tweezers right here. And then I have scissors and then I usually keep my stainless steel spatula right here at the top. All these pockets fit so many brushes. It's really awesome. So I get everything I need all in this brush belt. Okay, so the next thing I got from Amazon kind of goes along with the last thing that I talked about, but this is a little mesh pouch. This is actually a mesh pouch that I got off of Amazon a really, really long time ago, like when I first started freelancing. So I don't think you can get the specific one anymore, but there's tons of them like it on Amazon. So I will kind of link a more comparable one down below. Um, you can have one with just one zipper here because this one has your main pouch right here, but then it does have another zipper in the front right here. So just in case you want to put like, you know, different things in it. The reason that I have this mesh pouch is actually to put dirty brushes in. So I normally work out of a regular brush canister when I'm working on one client, but then if I have to like scoop out all the brushes to work on my next client, all the dirty brushes go into here. So I'll literally have this thing filled almost all the way to the top when I'm done with the job. But I think it's really handy to be able to have something that's mesh like this. It's also kind of like um, a rubbery plastic sort of feel or something. So it's really easy to clean too. Like you can literally just throw it in like a sink full of hot water or something or clean it out with, you know, um, disinfecting wipes or something like that, but it's really easy to clean. Just make sure also if you guys work with sponges for some reason to store them in mesh pouches like this because then they won't get moldy on you. If you aren't cleaning them right away, it's really important to put them in a pouch with some sort of pores or holes in it. So yeah, this is very handy and I got it from Amazon. Okay, the next thing I got from Amazon is something that you guys have questioned me in almost like every single freelancing kit video. <laughs> these are actually my disposable boxes. So these are where I keep all my 
little tools slash, you know, disposables that I need to do my job. I usually have cotton rounds in here. That's why the thing's empty, but I'm out of them right now. I got to go with more. I use little dog poo bags for trash cans in there. I have my square reader, a sh pencil sharpener, and then my little disposable wedge sponges here. And then I have all my actual disposables right here. So I have obviously mascara wands, um, little eyeliner wands that I use for lash glue. Then I have Q-tips and also lip disposables too, those little doe foot applicators. But these are actually fishing tackle boxes. They're supposed to be, I think, for fishing lures. I think that's what they're supposed to be used for. But it honestly fits my disposables perfectly. So, I mean, that's the best thing I could have asked for. And then I just have two of them at the moment. Um, and then I did get all of these disposables from Amazon too. So I kind of just wanted to mention that all these came from Amazon too. You want to make sure that with your disposables that you definitely buy bulk items <laughs> because you can literally get like freaking a hundred of these mascara ones for like $10 or something. Whereas you go to like Sally's beauty supply or something and you get 10 wands for $10 and I'm like, what? <laughs> so yeah, make sure you buy in bulk for your disposables from Amazon because that'll definitely give you the biggest bang for your buck. Plus you're just gonna throw them away anyway, so why would you spend like $10 on 10 disposables, you know? The next thing I got from Amazon are these little spray bottles. These are used for my water to wet sponges. And then I also, of course, put my alcohol in here too. I believe these are about two ounces or so. I'll have to double check, but I'll link it down below. But yeah, I got these little spray bottles from Amazon. I just think they're a lot more handy than like you carrying around a whole entire bottle of like 70% alcohol or something. Um, so yeah, I just got these and they just fit perfectly in my kit. So that's what I have for those. Next, I always get questions about these two, but these are actually the um, PET spray bottles or powder spray bottles. So I literally have powders in here. And then what you do is you twist this to the side and you literally can just like spray out powder through here. It makes it a lot more clean than just, you know, using an actual powder container, dumping it in the cap and then working from there. But this is really, really easy because literally all you do is you spray it, you know, on your palette and everything where you're working. And then you literally just have to sanitize your whole entire palette and you don't have to clean this. This also makes it really, really fast and easy for you to do whatever you're working on jobs and you got to rush through like eight people or something. So yeah, keep this in mind. Really nice for your powders. The next thing I have from Amazon is this guy right here. So this is just a little dropper bottle. Um, I don't know how many ounces it is. If not, it's like maybe like half an ounce or something. But yeah, I usually use to put all my foundations in here, but now I have the Face Atelier bottles and those are like really small anyways. But if you guys have any heavy like glass bottles or something with foundations or concealers or something, these things hold actually a ton of product. <laughs> I mean, I don't ever have to hardly refill these and they're so, so tiny and compact. They are plastic and again, they're dropper bottles. So you just twist it off and then you have the little insert right here. This part just pops off completely and then you can just pour your products directly into it. But again, these things are super small. Like this is the size of a normal water bottle and then this is how big they are. And they're very, very handy to have around and very easy and travel friendly. Again, they are plastic, so they're very lightweight. So if you have any bottles of foundations that are glass, put them into little plastic containers like this and it will literally save your shoulders or your back or however you're taking your kit around. All right, moving on. I also have another container that I got from Amazon. So this is actually supposed to be a powder container. This is actually what I put my powders in before I put them in these bottles here. Um, they're just a little bit less handy. So this is what they look like. I now put my moisturizer and eye creams in them, but yeah, they're just little tiny powder containers. That's actually what they're called. And they just screw off right here. So the whole idea I wanted to do with this was that I wanted to basically have like a mini jar of powder, but then it's really annoying because then I had to dump it in this tiny little cap right here and then work off of that and it was not efficient at all. So I decided to get my powder out of here, put it in the PET spray bottle containers, and then I just put moisturizers and stuff in here. So that's the use that I have for these guys. But if you guys find this is like a more handy method than doing the spray bottle things, then this is definitely really nice for your powders. Again, just comparing to a water bottle, this is how tiny they are. So, I mean, it's pretty, pretty tiny to carry around, but yeah, anything really small and compact is good for your kit. So the last things that I got from Amazon involved my little bridal touch-up kits that I give my clients. So this is actually what my touch-up kit looks like minus the little sample jar things that I have. 
but this is a little mesh drawstring bag here. I used to carry black ones that are about half the size, but I couldn't fit the amount of products that I wanted to into them. So I decided to upgrade to these guys and they're a lot bigger and everything. They fit all their products in it, which is really nice. And also they're white, so it's like very bridal, you know? I only give my bridal clients this, so it works. Inside of this, I have these little single use makeup remover wipes. I was thinking about switching to the Neutrogena ones, but I know a lot of people are allergic to those. So I just got these guys here. But then I also get these guys from Amazon too. So these are just little sample jars here. They come with like little labels you can stick on the top of them if you want to, but for some odd reason, I don't know what happened to the last one, but I don't have a label for this one. But yeah, they just come like this. Usually what I use these little sample jars for is I give the client a little bit of their lip color and I'll do this with every single person that I have during that wedding and everything. So it'll be like bridesmaids, mother of the bride, you know, bride, whatever. I'll give everybody a sample of their lip color. And then I'll also give people a sample of translucent powder and a little puff to touch up with throughout the day. Bridal touch-up kits are a very handy thing to have, by the way. Oh, I almost forgot about these. Um, these are little clips that I got from Amazon. So I used to have those like crocodile clips that held the, all the grooves in them and everything, but they dented people's hair like no joke. And especially if you do the makeup after the hairstylist leaves, you don't want to dent their hair or do anything. I mean, you can do the trick where you put a playing card like in between their hair or something and then clip the, you know, clip down so it doesn't dent it or anything, but that just seems like a lot of work. So I ended up switching to these guys. So they look like this and they just have you know, little um, prongs right here so you can clip down people's hair. The really nice thing about these guys though is that they don't dent the client's hair and they have like quite a bit of a grip to them just, you know, being tiny how they are. But yeah, you literally just pop it like right in your hair. And this basically will just hold back client's hair in case they have bangs or it's just anything's falling in their face or whatnot, or if they have their hair styled and they have like little twisty little things in front of their face, then you can kind of just use this to clip your client's hair back and it's out of their way for the makeup application. So just makes it a lot easier, but yeah, just wanted to mention those, I almost forgot. Yeah, so that's about it guys. Hope this video really helped you guys out just in case you guys are looking to downsize your kit or add stuff to your kit or just felt like something was missing from it. Comment down below the things in this video that you found helpful, if you guys have this stuff already, if this you know was a new idea to you, whatnot, I would love to know. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell, and that will notify you of every single video I upload. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.